they come. You get hurt bad, buddy? No, it's uh, just a piece of rock, I guess. Did we get him? Not that time. One more dive ought to do it. Uh, we don't stand a chance here. Let's get deeper in those rocks before they dive again. Clark. Oh, he's all right. But that captured Kane ship was much faster than ours. He should have caught up with us a long time ago. Say, maybe that burst of yours crippled them so they couldn't take off. You may be right. I'll report to the squadron commander. Lieutenant Deering calling the squadron commander. Squadron commander. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. Colonel Rogers should have caught up with us long before this, sir. I'm afraid a ship may be crippled. I suggest we turn back. Perhaps you're right, Lieutenant. We'll do so. Thank you. Wait, Talon. What's the matter, kid? One of them's down. One more dive off to finish them. I'm all right, Buck. You fellas go ahead and... Bud! Buddy! Give me a hand, Talon. We ever want to face Killer Kane again? Kane Squadron. All ships stand by to dive. Objective: Enemy Squadron, 4,000 below us. Attack in Formation B. It's a hidden city squadron. They're right on us. Rogers, look. Looks like Wilma's squadron. Let's work back toward our ship. Give her full throttle. Let's get out of here. Lieutenant Deering, Command your ship and look for Rogers. All of the ships follow me in pursuit. One of your ships had just landed. Wilma, probably. Hope so. It's Wilma, all right. Here she comes. Well, golly, I'm glad you're here. Let's get back to the ship, quick. Right, Buck. Badly hurt, Buck. I hope not. We'll have to get him to a hospital. Colonel Rogers, you'll take Lieutenant Deering's ship. I'll repair yours and follow. Thank you very much, Captain. Help me, Callan. Be right back, buddy. Ready for the starting rifles? Right, Buck. How far are we from Hidden City? Only a few minutes' flight. You better call Dr. Hugh and tell him about Prince Talon and Buddy. I'm going on back, see if he's all right. All right. Lieutenant Deering calling Dr. Hugh of the Hidden City. Lieutenant Deering calling Dr. Hugh of the Hidden City. Uh, Dr. Hugh are answering. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. I'm approaching the city. We have Prince Talon, an envoy from the planet Saturn, with us. Envoy from Saturn? I shall be at the air dome to welcome him in person. Fine. Will you also have a hospital attendant on hand, please? Buddy Wade is badly injured. Buddy Wade? I shall attend to all arrangements. Anything else? No, that is all. Lieutenant 
Lieutenant Deering calling the air control at Hidden City. Lieutenant Deering calling the air control at Hidden City. Control officer answering Lieutenant Deering. I'm approaching the city. Watch the indicator and make ready for landing, please. Detail advised. Come in, Lieutenant. <laughs> See, Talon, what we've been forced to do to escape Kane and his outlaw army? With the help of my planet Saturn, you will soon see the end of Killer Kane. Thank you. The landing box. That was a nice landing, Wilma. Careful with him, men. Wilma, you look after Buddy while I report to Dr. Hewer. Yes, I will, Buck. Colonel Rogers, how's Buddy? He's been taken care of, sir. Dr. Hewer, this is Prince Talon, envoy from the planet Saturn. Dr. Hewer is our scientist general. And Air Marshal Craig, our operations chief. Prince Talon? Prince Talon, you bring new hope to a beleaguered race. If it had not been for Colonel Rogers, I think your enemy would have tricked me into fighting you instead of helping you. I am authorized to sign this treaty, pledging our support to your cause. It would be more honest to let you see our people and decide whether we are worthy of your help. I'm so glad you're better. For a while, I was a little worried about you. Oh, shucks, I'm all right. Well, how about Buck and Prince Talon? Did Kane's men get them? No, they're perfectly safe, but you mustn't excite yourself. I think you'd better go now, Lieutenant. He's still a pretty sick soldier. All right, Doctor. Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. Lieutenant Deering, it would be well to contact the planet Saturn. Yes, sir. Advise them that we have signed a treaty with Prince Talon, that they are at war with Killer Kane. Yes, the Earth calling planet Saturn. The Earth calling planet Saturn. I assure the leader that the Hidden City Squadron was upon us before we could bomb Rogers and Talon again. So you allowed Rogers to escape with Talon to the Hidden City? We could not help ourselves. You see, we were silenced. If Talon pledges the aid of Saturn to Dr. Hewer, they will drive us from the face of the Earth. We brought it on ourselves. You should have taken my advice. Quit when we had enough. Since you are so clever, you shall take a spaceship to Saturn and arrange a treaty with her people before Talon has time to report back. I refuse. I will not be a tool for your insane ambitions. I am in command here, Krenko. Take him away. To the robot battalion where he can forget his grievances. You can't send me there, Kane. You can't. I'll head your commission to Saturn. I'll head your commission to Saturn. But don't send me to Robert Kane. No! to say, say it now, Krenko. When this helmet is in place, you'll never think nor speak again. You can tell Kane that I'll escape. I'll live to see the day that his... One more dead mine in the ranks of the leader's enemies. <laughs> 